Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. After the visit of UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson in April 2022, a statement was issued by British High Commission in India which said that both leaders noted cooperation in key areas of strategic collaboration including modern fighter aircraft and jet engine advanced code technology. Now recently, we were also informed regarding the meeting of Indian High Commission in London with Rolls-Royce and DRDO officials. The discussion was focused on deepening Rolls-Royce existing and planned partnership with India in aviation and defence sector. Now there were two pictures which was also shared by Indian High Commission. In the first picture, we could see a presentation titled An Indian Engine for AMCA and in the second picture, we could see a turbofan engine. Now, as per the recent updates, India and UK has announced a new defense industry joint working group to strengthen the defense collaboration and recently they have also held their first meeting. Alex Ellis, the UK High Commissioner in India, has said that the Rolls Royals, backed up by UK government, is willing to support the design and manufacturing of indigenous engine for India and this offer has not been given by any other partner till now. So who are the other partners? Of course, USA and France. GE of USA has offered manufacturing TOT for GF414 engine which will power AMCA. The approval for the same will come from US government in a couple of weeks and we are keeping tap on this development. However, it is important to note its manufacturing TOT and will not involve important designs and other critical technical informations. What GE will share is how to manufacture engine but not why. The no why underpins many critical technical information like why only this particular alloy has been chosen to build single crystal blade, how much temperature it can sustain. In future, if India wants to upscale or modify the engine, it won't be able to as it will not have the design idea behind the GF414 engines. Now going by the statement of UK High Commissioner, it seems Rolls-Royce is willing to share design which is very important for further development and modification. At Defence Expo, Rolls-Royce has said the complete TOT and IPR if they collaborate with India for engine development which means it will even allow India to export the engines. However, this is not the first time Rolls-Royce has come up with this offer. Last year in September, Rolls-Royce India and South Asia President Kishore Jairam had said that they are willing to co-develop and co-manufacture the engines for AMCA. The firm is keen on co-cooperation concept because it will generate IP, supply chain and services locally, in fact the whole ecosystem. If India decides to co-develop engine with Rolls-Royce, it will own the IP. So in my opinion, this is a very decent offer from Rolls-Royce. The cooperation can be further extended to the development of hybrid engines. Rolls-Royce also wants to bring in hybrid engines for marine systems to power Navy's next generation warships. We all know that the future is going to be all about hybrid and all electric. Rolls-Royce is also looking at hybrid propulsion for very large carriers in naval warship and is willing to partner with Indian firm for its development. Now, at present, Rolls-Royce do not have an engine which can generate thrust in excess of 110 kN and power aircraft like AMCA. The engine offered for LC Tejas was Eurojet EJ200 having a dry thrust of 60 kN and weight thrust of 90 kN. However, Rolls-Royce has been developing world first engine technology for Tempest fighter jet program. It is designing an electrical starter generator which is fully embedded in the core of a gas turbine engine which is known as Embedded Electrical Starter Generator or E2SG. This is meant to save space and provide large amount of electric power required by future fighters. Existing aircraft engines generate power through a gearbox underneath the engine which drives a generator. In addition to adding moving parts and complexity, the space required outside the engine of gearbox and generators makes the airframe larger which is undesirable in a stealthy platform. The company also intends to showcase a full-scale demonstrator of an advanced power and propulsion system. There will be new technologies in all parts of gas turbine including twin spool embedded generator to higher power levels 
an advanced thermal management system and energy storage system tailored to the expected duty cycle of the future fighter and an intelligent power management system which will be able to optimize the performance of both gas turbine and the power and thermal management system throughout the tempest program rolls royce will be continuing to mature the electrical technologies demonstrated by e2sg program now indian government and dird will have to think futuristic in terms of development of indigenous engine the project will take 1.5 to 2 decades to realize and mature therefore the design should also be futuristic that is considering the power requirement of future sixth generation fighter jets i have mentioned sixth generation and not fifth as we have to think a generation ahead or else india will keep catching up with time and requirement The Rolls-Royce E2SG program seems to be promising technology and India must partner with Rolls-Royce on developing similar technology indigenously. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.